On Sunday, April 9th, 2023, Noble Garden begins and it's everyone's first chance to get the Noble Gardener achievement in WoW Classic. This achievement is required to get the Reigns of the Violet Proto Drake, which is a very rare 310% move speed mount, one of only a few mounts with that speed. There's only a limited time to take advantage of getting this mount because Noble Garden ends on April 16th and if you don't get the achievement, you'll have to wait an entire year to get another chance at it. So this is your warning to get this achievement completed. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. The first achievement is called I Found One, and you need to find a brightly colored egg. You can find one of these in any of the starting area towns where you first find a mailbox. Towns like Bloodhoof Village, Brill, Razor Hill, or Falconwing Square if you're Horde, or Dolinar, Goldshire, Karanos, or Azure Watch if you're Alliance. Choose your town carefully because you're going to be spending a lot of time there collecting eggs, and if there are too many people there also collecting eggs, you might be better off trying a different town. Towns like Dolinar and Zur Watch will probably have less competition than Karanos or Goldshire, and for Horde, Falconwing Square or Bloodhoof Village will probably have less competition than Razor Hill or Brill. In total, you will need to collect anywhere from 100 to 355 Noble Garden eggs, depending on your luck. Each Noble Garden egg has a chance to give you an item you need for the meta achievement, but if it doesn't ever drop, you can also just buy the items you need for Noble Garden chocolate, which each egg has a high chance of containing. But make sure to save at least 100 Noble Garden chocolates because you'll need them for an achievement we'll get to later. The items you need for the meta achievement are a Spring Rabbit's Foot, Spring Flowers, Spring Robes, Black Tuxedo Pants, White Tuxedo Shirt, and a Noble garden egg. Okay, so we got the I found one achievement. The next one to go after is Spring Fling. For this achievement, you need to summon your pet rabbit using the Spring Rabbit's foot that you found in a Noble Garden egg or bought for Noble Garden chocolate. Then bring your rabbit near another player with their rabbit out in the four starter towns where you can find eggs. While you're in Goldshire or Falconwing Square, I recommend also going into the major city for our next achievement called Noble Garden. You need to hide a brightly colored egg in Stormwind if you're Alliance or Silvermoon city if you are Horde. The brightly colored egg can be bought for five Noble Garden chocolates or found in a brightly colored egg on the ground. You can also loot the egg once you hide it if you're still looking for chocolates. While you're in a major city, might as well work on the next achievement called Blushing Bride. While wearing a white tuxedo shirt and black tuxedo pants, kiss someone wearing an elegant dress. It will be easy to spot someone with a dress. It's a vibrant pink and doesn't matter if they are male or female as long as they're wearing that dress. The dress also drops from eggs or can be purchased in case you are wondering where to get it, but you don't need to wear it yourself for the achievement. The next achievement to go after is Desert Rose, but you will need spring robes, so make sure you have that before you start. You need to go to each of the following deserts and use your robes to plant a flower. Thousand Needles, Desolus, the Badlands, Tenaris, and Silithus. While you're in Tenaris or Silithus, stop by the Ungoro Crater and go to the Golaka Hot Springs for the next achievement called Hard Boiled. You'll need a friend to turn you into a rabbit using the Blossoming Branch. Once you're a rabbit, you'll automatically start popping out eggs, and the only other requirement is to be in the Golaka Hot Springs and Ungoro while that's happening and the achievement is complete. The next achievement is easy. For a Chocoholic, all you have to do is eat 100 Noble Garden chocolates, spam click 100 of them, or make a macro to spam, and this achievement is complete. And the next and last achievement is the hardest, Shake Your Bunny Maker. You need to find a female of every race that is at least level 18, interesting choice, they need to be at least 18, Blizzard, and place bunny ears on each of them using spring flowers that you found in a Noble Garden egg or bought for Noble Garden chocolate. It has a five minute cooldown, but I imagine you'll have a harder time finding the player than waiting for the cooldown. Battlegrounds and Winter Grasp are your best bet for finding opposing faction females if you're on an imbalanced server. And once you complete this final achievement, that's it. You successfully completed the Noble Gardener achievement and are one step closer to the Violet Proto Drake. I'll be making videos for the next achievements for the Violet Proto Drake, so like and subscribe so you don't forget when the next holiday comes out. And together, we'll both have our Violet Proto Drakes. I've also got an awesome video coming out soon. You won't want to miss it, but while you wait, you might like this video right above my head. I'll see you there.